Okay, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to add another control to your form. Um, and this time it's going to be a checkbox. Um, so basically what I've done, I'm just going to close this form and say yes. And I'll show you my table in design view. Okay, I've added a field to my table called allergies. And what I want to do is create a checkbox so that the student can tick whether they have allergies or not. And I've set this to yes, no, because it will either be a yes or no answer, as you know. So I'll just close my table now and open my form again. So I'm going into design view. And um, in the control section up here, another thing I want to say just before we start is that you must make sure use control wizards is ticked. Um, you don't have to have it on, but based on what I've showed you already, um, so some of like the drop down menus that I've gone through and radio buttons, if that's not ticked, the wizard, it will not take you through the step by step instructions. Um, so you need to leave that ticked. Um, and if it isn't ticked, just make sure that's ticked. That's really important. OK, so the checkbox, if I just here it is. So I'm just going to click on that and I want to put my little allergies box down here. So I'll just draw out my checkbox here and you'll see it's put in a little box with a tick and it's put a label in. Again, you just click on the brown square next to the control to move things around separately. So I want my label over here and I want that to be the same size as my other labels. And I'm just going to use my format painter to format that. And obviously I'm going to change what that says to um, whatever I want it to say. Now you'll notice that when I put this on the screen, it doesn't bring up my little wizard. Um, to take me through the steps. Well, I'm not following my own rules. Just click on the little brown square to move this down. Okay, so I've got that in position. So what, the re, it doesn't bring up a wizard for the checkbox. So what I have to do is I have to click on my little checkbox here and open this icon here in tools called property sheets. So I click on that and then you'll see it will bring up um, a listing. And you've seen this before when we formatted our controls um, in previous videos. And in this one, you must make sure you're, you've actually got the box ticks, not the label. If you click on the label for the property sheet, it will just give you formatting options. You must click on the control and then you'll see control source. And you click on the drop down and you select allergies because we want um, that field. This is the field that we want the data from this uh, checkbox to be stored in. So that's what you must do there. So you click on property sheet. I'll just go over that again. Or well, in fact, you can rewind the video, can't you? So I don't need to go over it again, but it's just property sheet. Select the checkbox, control source, click on the drop down and select the correct field. In this case, it's allergies. So if I just save that, okay, and if I just close the property sheet, if I go to form view now um, and I just look at the record, I'm on Jasmine Hall. I think I'm just going to move along a little bit. Whoops. So if I go to, it probably, now I'm trying to move to the next record and I don't have a button to do that. So in my buttons, I could have added one um, to make this more useful, but I can do it down here. So I just click on the next record. And on Haley at the moment, she does have some allergies, um, but they're not uh, highlighted there. And I'm actually going to put in her gender as well, because I added all these fields afterwards and she's in year 11. So I'll tick that. And I'm also going to check she's got allergies also and i'm going to put in her tutor's name in there okay so that's clicked and i'm just going to put save and i'm going to close my form and if i open my table now i'm looking for Haley, and she's here okay and you'll now see the gender i selected is here the year group is stored the tutor is there and we've got our tick box here. So I ticked, yes, I ticked that she does have an allergy. So that's now been stored in the database as a checkbox. Obviously, you can format this field to be um, yes, no, if you prefer. So on data sheet, you go to format and you can change the format in there. I'm going to leave it as a checkbox because um, that's how I want it to be represented in here. So that's how we create a checkbox.